Hello guys, another Saturday on another video from my car and I want to talk about control over your project and over your code. Quite often it happens this way. The project is at the very beginning, you start the coding and you feel in full control. So you can do whatever you want, choose the design patterns, the frameworks, the languages, the folder structure, classes structure, whatever you want. But then as the project grows, if it is successful, then the control may slip out of your hands. How does it happen? It happens really invisibly. So step by step. For example, you want to create some new feature, some bigger feature, and then you realize that the code written previously, it may be by yourself, it may be by someone else, some teammate, or maybe even external uh, developer or third party, you see that that code controls your current decisions for the future features. And this is what I call when the project gets out of your control. So your goal as a developer is to always think a bit long term, not necessarily long, long term, but think a few steps ahead and always be in control. So when you start feeling that the control slips out of your hands, then you need to stop and think how to refactor the code so it would still work and the old code still work, but refactor it in a way that the new feature would be coded in more efficient way, in more logical way, and would survive long term. And that's why from time to time, you need to make revisions on your project, kind of a checkup. What is the current status of your control over project? Are current features working properly? So the features that were coded a year or two years ago, are they in control? And what would happen if, for example, tomorrow you need to introduce multi-language to the project, multi-tenancy, multi-currency, multi-domain, or whatever is the next big refactoring, potentially big step of growth for your project. Now, of course, it's a balance. I'm a big believer in learning as you go and improving as you go and not over-engineer up front and not over-architecture up front. But you need to think about it and you need to feel. Of course, it comes with experience for senior developers, for architects. The feeling of when you feel it's out of your control and you need to go back a few steps, talk to the managers that it will take some time and you need to either refactor something or write additional tests or maybe upgrade your software versions like Laravel or PHP or whatever. Maybe choose a different package for the future because the old package isn't updated anymore. So stuff like that. Some decisions are made not in the sense of feature after feature. So you need to stop being a feature factory. Even if your task list doesn't really contain the specific task for maintenance or checkup, you need to constantly remind yourself of that. So whenever you catch yourself feeling not in control over some part of your project, you need to stop and rethink. Maybe it's time to go back and refactor something. Because if you don't, then the control will slip out of your hands even more. So if you rush with the current feature and then you rush with the feature again, then at some point the technical depth, so to speak, would become so big that it would be a huge pain to add any new features, avoid any bugs, and the maintenance of the project would be too expensive, also cause additional stress and team culture would be really bad. So consequences may be pretty bad. So to avoid that bigger failure, you need to sense the lower small failures and come back and refactor some code to always be in control of your project so the project code written before wouldn't control your future. What do you think about this philosophy? Do you agree? Or maybe you would add something else? Shoot in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.